Cause I got tired of sitting. I hate, I hate for a to talk. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you ain't no, you ain't no woman. Yeah, you're not a, a ain't supposed to talk loud. And, and a woman talk loud with silence in in a in, in a mild voice. Uh, them hoes in, in a hoe in, in a hoe. See, see one thing about a hoe. A hoe really admire men. Uh, she don't bash men. That's a. Bitch. Women don't bash men. Uh, ladies don't bash men. Only do. Hoes use and misuse men. Just don't know what to do with a man. Yeah. Uh, because nobody, nobody really likes a bitch. Not even mother bitches. So Rick Ross' baby mama is a disgruntled, angry, resentful, or uh, hateful-hearted bitch because she got another baby daddy. So why does she just focus on this one baby daddy? And this one baby daddy was kind of good to her. And he was good to her family. Uh, you don't never hear her come out and say, he beat me. He did this to me. He did it me. He molested me. He, so you don't never hear her say none of this. It's all about his physical appearance, his, the physical appearance of his, of, of, of his, of his, of his sister, uh, his mother. And, and you got all these black women cheering this shit. But they so hated Kevin Samuels. They so hated, so, so, so this is their Kevin Samuels. And, and she don't have no substance. At least Kevin Samuels has some substance. Mm. And so many black women cheered. Uh, and y'all might want to mute this. Yeah, y'all might want to mute this for monetization purpose. But this is why I believe uh, some black hoes need their ass whooping they took. <laughs> yeah, hey. I believe some black bitches need their motherfucking kick in they took like granddad like mister you never used to do on the color purple you remember when celia's sister was trying to go yeah, to school yeah. and mister come up on that horse <laughs> come on trying to with her because he wanted some and when she didn't mister tried to take the right and when she didn't what mister do put her mother ass out get out of here and celia never saw her sister again and what mister do keep all the goddamn letters you would never see your sister again because you didn't want to give me no. That's the kind of man I'm talking about the whole need. What, what? A, a mister kind of. <laughs> and what, what Celia say mister do? Mister just get on top of me and do his do. He push you all in the head when he get through coming. Walk up out the bedroom. Yeah, bitch. He don't cuddle with her. He don't no full play, no nothing. That's <laughs> this. These black women today need them kind of generation of men. Mean in a mother. To kick a big ass. Yeah, you think that'll straighten out? You got out? Damn, you got damn right. She and, and listen, and she need the police force when the police force show up, and and I talk to the police. This is what used to happen back in the seventies and eighties. The woman called the police and say my husband beat me. The man go out and close the door and leave the in the house. He go out and tell the police, listen, I came home and she was in there. The ain't made no supper. She ain't clean nothing. And he tell the police to be in the raggedy. And the police say, oh, man, I understand. My wife's the same kind of Ma'am, listen, we can't get in y'all business. And they go on about their business. They need that kind of back shit again to hit the reset button. Yeah, we ain't ever getting back there. Though. Man, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, You, think so? you got damn right. How do we get there? Let President Trump become king. Let President <laughs> Trump become president again and let him become a dictator, a king again. And he'll make it to where hoes, after what Stormy Daniel did to him, he'll make it where these bitches will have a hard time trying to do that shit again. <laughs> so vote for Trump, fellas. So how you, how you feel about Trump getting immunity? Uh, I love it. Yeah, I think the president <laughs> should be able to have immunity for anything, even taking <laughs> Yeah, I think the president should be able to take in everything. He's the president. So, so not leaving the situation that we're talking about with Tia. We'll, we'll leave her. Uh, but... The, seeing the situation that happened with Rick Ross when he come with him coming face to face, we with gonna fans. come back to Tia though. Cause, okay, cause, okay, we can definitely hit Tia because because homie, that's that's the problem in the black community, homie, the black man versus the black woman. So so imagine if so many black women are cheering for her, and this is a woman who is publicly humiliating her son's father. Imagine what the children are doing to her son. The things that they hearing, so to see a house divided, homie. So yeah, we laughing, but the son have to deal with the public shame. And of, it seems like she was also attacking the uh, his other children. 
Uh, it's, it, I know he. I know she was specifically attacking another baby mother of his. Man, listen. Uh, because yeah. she said you had the wrong son and no, proceeded no, 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 to no, bash no. him. No, no, I, I had the right one. No, I had, she I, said you had a wrong son in one of the posts, and she proceeded to bash that son. But but all the kids look like Rick Ross. Yeah. So she got a big fat son with big titties. He got titties like Ross. He got big round nipples like her. So he got his daddy's, you know, his daddy's nipples in his mama's titties. Uh, so, you know, he got big thighs, big wide hips. Uh, and he's slow. He can't tackle. So he don't start on the football Dang. team. And he, was, and he going to Bethune College. Bethune College is like a special ed HBCU. So there ain't no mother Dang. college you jump up and say, Chay, that boy going to the NFL. Nowhere in the history of Bethune College have anybody made it to the NFL. <laughs> Nowhere in Bethune ain't no mother ain't never went nowhere from Bethune. <laughs> man, please, that bitch just talking. And that hoe just mad that so man, we gotta talk about that in depth. And we'll get back to that. Now, what were you saying about him? In so, so it, it, it all ties in, right? Uh, Rose, right? Rick Ross is out in the crowd in Vancouver where that happened. Now, yeah. you've had a lot of run-ins with people. Yeah. And if you were to give him advice on, like, what did you think about him standing Say, face listen, to face listen, with listen, these listen. people? Mother be laughing at that mace. Mother be saying, who? Don't move. Don't number women pack mace. You a lying <laughs> mother You think no nobody but you got the police got mace. The prison guard got mace. The motherfucking soldier in the military got mace. So this is what mace does. Mace diffused some shit. It levels the playing field. So you got to cry out a motherfucker. You standing right there. Don't nobody know you got mace in your pocket. It's look like it's getting a little rowdy. Motherfuckers talking too loud. <laughs> you getting frill coming from your ankles up to your waist. By the time that frill get to your waistline, you done pulled the mace out your pocket. <laughs> By the time that frill get in your heart, you done mace the crowd. At least I will. Yeah, once I go to feeling a little inkling of frill, now I'm going to go to mace and man, shooting some shit. So now, had he had that mace, he could have, man, defused the situation. And, and all of that. Yeah, at least the security should have had it. Man, whoever needs somebody have that mace and then have something sharp. So when motherfuckers can't see, you go to poking. And now there's uh, people saying that that could escalate and turn it into, you know, where Drake comes to Miami. I, I'm hoping I'm hoping when Drake come to Miami, they got one of them Haitian motherfuckers that don't have a visa or identity or a driving license and crash out. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm hoping they got a Haitian mother don't care nothing about nothing. And when Drake and his entourage come, I'm hoping that mother Haitian crash out like the seven mother from the Taliban did on 9-11. <laughs> I'm talking about some suicide. I can't say that. Let yeah, me stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want my... Yeah. I'm on my to get it months say yeah, but I'm yeah, hoping, taking I'm, it away. They're yeah, taking it away. Yeah, yeah, but just mute this out and make them pay for it. But I hope they got a Haitian that's willing to die <laughs> to get them up. Because this is what got me mad, homie. It was no that was with Rick Ross. It was all white boys. Nah, it wasn't just white boys. I ain't see no. Oh, yeah, I, nah, that, that, I, I, I went and looked specifically. Nah, there's the, the, the one that. I didn't see one nigga throw a punch at a it was all white boys. Uh, so nah, in my mind, this yeah. was a racist event, and they done made this into Canadian against Canadian white boys. I mean, American niggas against Canadian white boys. So I'm saying when come from Miami, they need to be ch checking every white boy to see if he from Canada. If not, punch his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hit his and see how tough he is. Bitch, now nah, start punishing the Canadian girlfriend. Because then now, nah, this is a they done jumped on. A from a real this a real and they done got into a rap beef? Nah, nah, nah. We got to make this a race war. In my <laughs> mind. That, but, that, but that's why I don't get into this type of shit because I'm going to take it over, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to yeah, make yeah. it by race. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're about, you're about to make this like Tupac and Biggie nah, and people going to start I, killing nah, each other. I'm making well, yeah, I, don't want, I don't want anybody I'm to kill like, each other. I'm making, I want to die for what they done done. They done, hey, they done, done this to Rick Ross and knock the guy. Man, somebody mama. Man, they supposed to jump on Drake mama behind it. 
Yeah, Drake I, Mama's supposed to be getting jumped on behind I'm, him. I'm okay with Drake. I like Drake. I'm <laughs> no, Drake. I'm a, man, Nick Foles whoop anything. anything. I don't want anybody to hurt I do. anybody. They Rick Ross, I don't want anybody Rick, to Rick hurt Ross anybody. got hurt, so why can't nobody get hurt? They done hurt the yeah. The nigga done got hurt, so why can't nobody else be hurt? I feel you. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm right. I'm I'm I don't want to see, see any man, more Man, I'm, 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 I'm praying in the name of Jesus and I lie that it's an ignorant Haitian ride with Rick Ross that gets somebody from Drake Camp. Never. Another Tupac and Biggie dying anyway. <laughs> so, so tripping. not only are you sitting here, right? That's why I say it all. Nah, nah, I'm just playing, y'all. Yeah. Let me. I'm just playing, Karen. <laughs> Let me stop this shit. I got a show that's funded by good white Mormon folks, and I'm just playing, y'all. This is all for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. No, nah, I just look I need to serious. Take a sip to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just look serious. Now nah, I'm just bullshit. Listen. So w w where this all ties in is that all happens, right? And you talk about the in the hole. And Tia seems to just go online and use that as another opportunity to bash him again. Now that's putting the children, the children but, are involved. Uh, what now, homie? Just think about this, money. I don't give a damn how low down and dirty you are as a mother yeah. or a father. Secretly, in your children's hearts, you still a hero. Even as a crack fiend mama, you always was, was a black, black queen mama. mama. You heard pop. Yeah. So. I don't care how, how wrong you are as a parent, secretly in your children's heart, there's a hope that you could be something better than what you are. So your mother's, your, your mother is your God. Uh, your father is a superhero. So here it is, your God bashing your superhero. So when you look in the mirror, I wouldn't be surprised if this boy is a big punk because he's confused. <clears throat> Here his mother is displaying the attributes of a masculine male. That's crucial. And she's being ch clear ch champion for this, to bash her daddy. So when he look at his mother and his father, he's watching other black people cheer to divide him. So secretly when he's on the toilet, when he's in the bed by himself, when he's, he got to process this. Half of his chromosomes is his mother. The other half is his father. So when he look in the mirror, because he's a big boy, and he hear his mother saying, big back mother. <laughs> so when he get out the shower, he got to wash his back and dry his back off. You don't think he look at his back and say, I wonder, is my back big like my daddy, like my mama say? So you don't think when he hear the things that this Saying about his daddy, he don't <laughs> internalize that because even through a divorce, it's been proven when children go to counseling, they internalize the divorce. They blame themselves. When children get molested, they blame themselves. When they get abused, they blame themselves. You don't think this kid is internalizing the shit that his mother, the venomous and poisonous things and words that his mother strategically and specifically uses on a day-to-day -day basis? Not only that, the same auntie designed the perfect voice for your brand that made it possible for him to go to another college outside of Bethune because his mother cannot provide for him to go to college. When she filed her income tax returns and this young brother applies for his FAFSA application, he's not using his father's tax information. So they're not paying for college out of pocket. So it ain't like this bitch putting him through college. She going to college out five dollar. The taxpayer's dollar. He ain't got no scholarship. So come on, man. So we as black people, let a white police officer shoot a no good rotten like George Floyd. And we are tear up the country for a like George Floyd. But here it is, a black man who took every good care of his child because he made his last child support payment when most don't even pay child support mm. behind on child support not only that this kid will inherit over a billion dollar empire and we cheering for this mm. nobody's gonna defend this black man but let a white police officer kill a no good rotten who don't want to go to jail that's why i didn't give a about george floyd 
That's why I don't give a fuck when the police kill him. Because here it is, we'll cheer for this shit. No, George Floyd should have took his bitch ass to jail for the white boy made him get down on the floor. The white man gave him a chance to go to jail in the car before he swallowed the fentanyl drugs, remember? Before he started crying like a He didn't hate it. That would have still been alive. He just would have went to jail like most. Man, take me to jail, bitch, that white boy. Go on, take me to jail. Say, baby, come get me. Bitch, I didn't even want to go to jail. But we go tear up the country. We go talk, ride for men. That black, that's why I say black lives matter ain't shit. It's a bunch of it bull diger bitches running some shit that's playing on the racism. And racism don't even exist no more in this country. It's just socialism and classism. This socialism and classism. Racism been gone, dumbass. For the for the fans, for the new fans, right? When yeah, you I done got mad. When you, when, when... If you can, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section.